What is up, nerds? So, in my most recent epic airsoft video that you all that uh, you all saw, and I gained a lot of subscribers from, one of the biggest uh, critiques of that video was the camera quality. I can't. I hope that's lip syncing correctly. Uh, one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. Is there a delay with the capture card? Okay. After running that test, uh, you I clearly was able to see that it's just the uh, the way Streamlabs is making my lips look desynced with what I'm saying. I just like looking at my hands. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to come out for you guys watching on YouTube. If you're watching on your phone, I'm sure it'll be crystal clear on a computer monitor. It's not as clear, but that's usually how it goes when I edit photos with this camera. Yes, this is my Nikon D3400 DSLR. Holy shit, what a journey. <laughs> the problem with uh, this before was... I used to have a Canon and that I could just directly USB hook up and use as my webcam in older videos I made on the long forgotten Loose Goose channel. RIP. Uh, the old Loose Goose channel I used the Canon a lot when I made videos. The issue with this DSLR, well there's a couple issues. Is One, obviously now we can have good quality commentary videos where I'm looking at the camera and speaking to you guys because it's nice and clear and bright and I'm recording it during the daytime because I actually woke up decently early at like 1 p.m. That's early for me. A couple things that I see going into this camera using it for commentary, no problem. So what I'm gonna do is uh, this video is gonna come out and then immediately after, hopefully immediately after, it depends how productive my depression is feeling on that day. Hopefully it'll be the whole Airsoft uh, 2024 collection showcase because I figured that would be a fun video to keep you uh, thirsty airsoft viewers that subscribe to my channel for airsoft stuff th 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 quenched. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you're catching this and you're an airsofter if you mind the other content or, you know, if you don't want to see the gaming stuff, I kind of want to know so I can balance it out to see if I need to make ch different channel for stuff. Kind of segueing, you know, because I could make this airsoft and then move all of my gaming stuff to a different channel and move from there or whatever. But I kind of want to do both. So let me know if you guys are going to watch both. I'm, I'm a bit goofy. It says 22 frames. X to doubt. <laughs> I'm pressing it. <laughs> oh man. Link drank a bunch of codeine. Now he's robo tripping. Oh my god, is he alright? Listen, bro, Russell, you should have seen it. I was in the woods tripping sack and I thought I was a wolf. Something to do with a hot topic. <laughs> but I'm here now and everything's okay. Look, I have new clothes. Were you guys more of Mario fans growing up or or more of a more of on a different side? I like Mario. Mario? How different are we talking? <laughs> like Sonic. <laughs> like you know how like that. Oh I was a Sonic. Like, oh boy. yeah. Mike likes Sonic. Gotta go fast! Sonic, gotta go fast. Okay, back to what I was saying. The problem with using this camera for commentary, no issues at all. Now we can do this and I can capture on Streamlabs and do what I want to do. Uh, the issue is if I'm live streaming, it relies on battery power. So if the battery dies, I gotta swap the batteries. I have three of these bitches. Three of these bitches. And after testing it uh, with a little timer, because apparently the live view shuts off on the Nikon at 30 minutes and it's limited instead of newer models, which are unlimited. Using the mini US, mini mini HDMI with Streamlabs, it kind of beat the limited thing because I timed it. We hit 35 minutes and it didn't shut off and it didn't auto lock. But the problem is the battery dies at 40 minutes. So if I want to live stream with this crisp camera, I have to change the battery every 40 minutes and I only have three batteries and then they take forever to charge and I have to charge them for the next day. So I think for Twitch live streams, if I don't plan on making a video out of it, I'm just going to use my shitty webcam until I buy a better webcam for Twitch live streams. But all commentary moving forward is going to look like this and it can only get better because the only plan on buying better cameras is life goes on which isn't within my budget anytime soon because I have to buy car parts uh, to make the BRZ great again and I have to buy more airsoft stuff because I want to buy more airsoft stuff 
And I want to buy more gun shit. I want more guns. It's a fun time. <laughs> It'd be cool if I could find a way. There, Actually, I did see a tutorial of how to hook this up to your phone. So if I ever crack down on that and I go to a car meet, we could live stream on Twitch at a car meet with this beautiful DSLR imagery for Twitch car meet live streams. Today. <laughs> I wish I thought of this sooner. My... I was being way too smooth brain to figure out that, like, hey, I could do this. It never occurred to me that I have a capture card, so I can just plug it into the capture card and it would capture the image you're seeing right now. To show that the, this isn't a pre-recorded and this is on my actual OBS, we could switch over to... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ha ha ha. Transition. So now I can play games and doop dop the hoop -lop with everything here. See, look at that, look at that fan fancy transition. Now my OBS is over to the far right and I gotta look. So battery life seems to be the only downside to this new setup, which is good. Oh, I figured out the other downside to the camera. This camera doesn't have a three millimeter port, which is fucking tragic because, hold on a second here. I actually still have a Rode mic that, that works from when I had my Canon before my Canon got stolen. And it uses the, the standard 3mm three, three millimeter jack and this camera does not have that input. It, I don't know why. What the hell were you doing then, Nikon? Come on, bro. I mean, it is broken, but nothing a little duct tape can't fix. But So if I'm doing any on-the-go recording, the microphone quality isn't going to be good because I, again, don't have the budget to buy a, a fresh fresh mic I maybe if I could find a cheap one that might be better than the, the the camera on the camera hey disconnected the microphone on the camera is actually really decent so you know it's not as good as the thing I'm using here which isn't even a, that good of a mic one of the comments I saw in the, the airsoft video was uh, oh your mic's really good but the camera is dog shit <laughs> it's, it's like yeah it, it, which is ironic because it's a blue snowball it's it's not the greatest mic ever but it works i hope this has been recording audio the whole time it has i wasn't looking at my audio bars so when i go do the uh airsoft collection uh showcase one take where i'm actually showing like this setup and how i have everything shelved and organized with the nikon off the tripod so the microphone is gonna be a little like meh for that but then I'm going to transition to this as I talk about each individual gun and or anything else I want to talk about in my collection. So I'm going to be like, here's the rifle right here, look at this, you know. But then I'm also, as I'm talking about it and talking about the features of the gun in the collection, I'm going to provide other shots overlapping my commentary, you know, overlapping my commentary showcasing the weapons it'll be like this is the 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 nessie 10,000 fps model and uh and then it'll be like cinematic shot of the nessie so yeah just uh, the... take that nerds the camera's updated you plebs i'm a pleb don't 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 get it wrong i'm a pleb because it took me this long to figure out to use my dslr for camera and my last video which got way more views than I was expecting thank you all by the way I wasn't expecting it to gain the traction that it did gain so I was only expecting to get like a couple hundred views and we're on our, the road to 7,000 which isn't a lot by big youtuber standards but for like the first video not necessarily the first but the first like video I put effort into on this channel it's pretty good thank you guys for that. The airsoft video would have been a thousand times better if I would have thought to do this for the commentary of it and it would have been goofy and clear and magical and professional looking. Thank you guys a lot though for the support that it gained and thank you to all of the new subscribers who came on board. Uh, next goal is get a GoPro. If, if anything generic GoPro. I had an Akaso which is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it was like a generic Chinese brand. It sounds Japanese more than Chinese. I, I used to have an action cam, is the point. And it, I bought it back when it was only $20, and it actually filmed at 1080p. The mic was dog shit, but the, the 
camera quality was actually really good side by side to the GoPro. I think the only difference is the GoPro isn't as vibrant and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but also not necessarily a good thing, you know. So the, this cheap $20 action cam, which is now $90 because I went to buy another one to do this as fast as possible and they're sitting at $90 now when I they first came around they were 20 bucks which is crazy and like i said the mic isn't the best but for review videos of what i want to do of guns that i've owned and used for a couple of months and have gameplay footage i can just commentate over it and you just kind of slightly lightly hear the nee, 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 of the the aeg in the background yeah like and subscribe and i'll give you a quick little a quick little teaser of the collection be right back here yeah, hope this makes you thirsty. Has you come back for more? I uh, threw my Twitch tag on there. I probably should put the YouTube on now that I'm doing like more airsoft YouTube related videos. But the YouTube's on my ammo box that I bring to the field, so you know, cause this this AUG, anytime I go to the field with it, grabs a lot of attention, especially when I go to shoot it. Somebody like will crank their head. Holy snopes, are you fucking kidding me right now? That is the most quietest fucking gun I've ever heard. Can I, can I, can I, can I, sh can you look at me? <laughs> Dude, why is it so quiet? It's a little eye grabber, so I figured, like, since it grabs attention, especially when I shoot it, people are like, dang, that thing is quiet. I figured I'd shamelessly plug myself on the airsoft gun that everybody looks at. It's kind of a smart idea. So uh, if you know me from MK Airsoft, like, subscribe or something. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, listening to my little camera update because uh, those, those bad camera quality had me down in the dumps and it's like, I used to have a good camera. I still do have a good camera. I just don't know how to use it for OBS. Now all of you get to see my fucking bald head in HD. <laughs> Until next time, BB junkies. Oh my god, you could even see the, the wrong arm, because I'm looking at my... Do you see that? You could even see the, the, the hair floaty. Yeah. Yeah, take that, you doubters, webcam doubters. <laughs>